Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, your home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we're going to be providing an update on immunoprecise antibodies. This is one that we've covered a number of times on the channel. They just came out with full year earnings and Q4, along with some exciting updates in terms of their Lens AI platform. A lot to discuss in today's video. Before we get into it, take a second, hit the like button, you guys. Big help to myself and the channel, specifically in getting this content to other people people like you who may find value. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. We just crossed 44,000 subscribers. We'd love to have you as part of the community. And finally, let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of IPA, what you thought about their earnings or results, and your outlook for this company. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on Immunoprecise Antibodies Limited. Before we get into it, we wanted to thank today's video sponsor, Outside of the Box Capital, for sponsoring the video on behalf of Immunoprecise. Now today's video is of particular interest. You can see big price action in terms of share price movement today. This is on the backs of Q4 and full year earnings. We're gonna go through that in a second and some updates on their Lens AI platform or technology. Now as a quick reminder, Immunoprecise Antibodies trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker IPA. You can see down around 12, 13% today or roughly 24 cents per share, currently trading hands at $1.78. And with that being said, we're gonna jump over to the corporate website and take a closer look at earnings and some of these recent developments. So if we pop into the investor relations portion of the website, again, I'll leave this linked in the video description below, ipatherapeutics.com. Again, you can see the ticker IPA on the NASDAQ, currently at $1.78. And a quick refresher or corporate overview, IPA's proprietary technologies and products are positioned on the leading edge of antibody development, which we're gonna talk about, innovating our industry as a single source provider for the full complement of antibody discovery platforms. As an investor in IPA, you're joining us at the forefront of new, exciting, and valuable advancements in next generation antibody discovery. And that's exactly where we're going to kick things off as we move into earnings. Now, if we pop into the news section, again, under the investor relations portion of the IPA website, you can see just published today, July 29th, Immunoprecise Antibodies IPA reports full year 2025 results, along with record fourth quarter revenue and record fourth quarter adjusted EBITDA, along with some key updates on their Lens AI platform, which we want to get into. So in terms of the financial highlights, you can see a nice summary here. Again, I would encourage you guys to jump on and listen to a recording of the conference call itself. Strong revenue for the full fiscal year of 2025, resulting in $24.5 million. Highest ever fourth quarter revenue, as we just saw a record at $7 million, which is $28 million on an annualized basis. Record fourth quarter adjusted EBITDA which is really reflective of their improved operating efficiency, a gross margin of 64%, which was up considerably from the 48% they saw in Q4 of last year, and some nice bullets on their BioStrand subsidiary, which again is where the Lens AI platform lives. That's really what a lot of investors are excited about in terms of this IPA story. BioStrand itself, or the segment, grew about 180% in the fiscal year 2025, gross margins approaching 90%, with BioStrand overall representing 5% of the total company's annual revenue this year, which is up from 2% in fiscal year 2024. So you can see tremendous growth, still a lot of opportunity or runway for Lens AI and BioStrand. And this is where they really start to talk about some of those corporate highlights. So the company's Lens AI platform demonstrated that it's in silico epitope mapping achieves results on previously unseen antibody antigen complexes with results that are on par with gold standard X-ray crystallography yet delivering structural insights in hours instead of weeks. And we're actually gonna come back to that in a second. An important breakthrough using the company's Hyft or HYFT powered Lens AI platform as it identified a highly conserved epitope across all four dengue virus serotypes, a key milestone towards developing a potential universal dengue vaccine, subsequently announced in silico data supporting the vaccine candidate's safety and its ability to activate a balanced immune response. So yet again, another breakthrough on the Lens AI platform. 
followed by a number of other key milestones, including that eight to $10 million US partnership with a publicly traded biotech company, realigning their R&D strategy to focus on launching an AI powered therapeutic pipeline, signed their material transfer agreement with Bio and Tech, and added a number of key members to their advisory and board of directors. Now you can see Dr. Jennifer Bath, the CEO of Amino Precise Antibodies, go on to say, Fiscal 2025 was a record-setting year for IPA across multiple dimensions. We delivered strong annual and record fourth quarter revenues, significantly improved gross margins, and achieved one of our strongest adjusted EBITDA performances in company history. With a loss of only $316,000, this reflects our continued progress towards profitability while accelerating innovation through our Hyft-powered Lens AI platform. Our BioStrand segment alone grew more than 180% in fiscal 2025, highlighting the strength of our AI-driven pipeline. These results underscore the growing commercial validation of our technology, our strategic collaborations, and our ability to deliver real-world impact through next-generation antibody discovery and therapeutic design. As we look ahead to the next fiscal year, we are well-positioned to build on that momentum. We are poised to refocus our business on AI-based product development, utilizing our Lens AI platform. We anticipate the near-term completion of our previously announced divestiture of our Dutch subsidiary as part of our continued focus on streamlining operations and aligning with our strategic priorities. Together, these strategic steps will sharpen our focus, strengthen our core capabilities, and set the stage for an even brighter future for IPA. Really focusing in or doubling down on this Lens AI or artificial intelligence platform and the capabilities that it presents with additional details both about Q4 and full year financial results included below. Now we've mentioned this Lens AI technology extensively in prior coverage, essentially allowing in silico tests to be run or virtual modeling and mapping to really set a new standard in potentially life-saving therapies. Now there's a number of benefits to doing this in silico versus traditional modeling or testing. The Lens AI application lends great cost and time efficiencies to their antibody discovery partners. So together with their in-house Crow or contact research organization and laboratory capabilities, this in silico technology really means acceleration and cost savings in the ultimate race to the clinic or clinical trials. And we're gonna come back to this next up in the presentation. So this article was actually put out on the 24th of July, just a day after our last video coverage, entitled Immunoprecise releases new findings showing Lens AI quickly flags anti-drug antibody risk long before the clinic. So this is yet again another example of why we're seeing that strong revenue growth for this subsidiary and why we're seeing the company itself really shift their focus towards this AI or artificial intelligence opportunity. Again, announced on the 24th of July, this newly expanded study demonstrating their Lens AI immunogenicity screening can reliably predict anti-drug antibodies or ADA risk for therapeutic proteins before they enter animal studies or human trials. So this is a big breakthrough. ADA related failures still derail up to 40% of biologics in late development, costing companies billions of dollars. Again, from Dr. Jennifer Bath, president and CEO of IPA. With Lens AI, we can now triage candidates against clinical data in hours, not months, giving drug developers a fast, objective way to de-risk programs early and focus resources on the safest molecules. So this is a perfect example of what we just talked about on the corporate website in terms of both cost and time savings. Late stage ADA failures can wipe out anywhere from one to two billion dollars in projected revenue for a single biologic and can push timelines back anywhere from 12 to 18 months. Yet many programs still lean on these time intensive lab assays for first generation in silico screens that look only at peptide to MHC2 bindings across a few dozen HLA alleles, leaving large swaths of immune diversity untested and immunogenic, meaning many self non self checks are largely left unaddressed. Now where the Lens AI technology comes in is essentially allowing all of this screening to take place in a single workflow that can be run overnight. It can evaluate nearly 900 HLAs and instantly flags hotspots that legacy tools may miss, again leading to both speed and cost improvements. And again you can see some of the study highlights and the full case study if you're interested. Now the final piece I wanted to leave you with here, again an interesting observation on the corporate website 
website. If you go into events and presentations, this is where you'll find that webcast for Q4 earnings call as well. You can see their featured presentation has been updated on the 2nd of July. And now really gives a look and feel for this subsidiary of IPA, which of course is Biostrand. So taking a deeper look at the Lens AI platform, empowering diversity-driven discovery, intelligent lead selection and optimization, and going into some of the more granular or detailed components of the Biostrand or Lens AI platform. So the fact that this is a layered solution, democratizing innovation, integrating insight pipelines, and multimodal engineering, and information on how the technology itself actually works. So we're going to be digging into this in a subsequent video in more detail, but I would encourage you guys to go in and take a closer look, really breaking down what this technology is capable of in terms of the targeting, discovery, and generating leads. And from there, some of the additional antibody discovery and development steps that can be taken from this data-driven technology. Now, earlier in the presentation, I mentioned X-ray crystallography is considered as the gold standard for identifying epitope regions, yet the method is time-consuming, costly, and with feasibility that is highly dependent on target type. This is where the Lens AI epitope mapping really comes in and their proprietary algorithm that offers a fast, high-throughput alternative identifying epitope residues with a high sensitivity while maintaining high precision and minimizing false positive rates. So obviously a big improvement or step in the right direction with again three key differentiators listed as near x-ray accuracy, more reliable than all other in vitro methods, speed or the fact that this is fast, measured in hours, and infinitely scalable, analyzing multiple candidates at once, and the fact that this technology is not reliant on physical material, but can require only sequences to operate, which means the benefits for drug developers or early stage identification of epitope diversity and accelerated decision-making and risk reduction. So with that being said, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on today's earnings and this focus on Lens AI or the technology platform that we've talked about in today's video. A lot going on under the surface at IPA or Immunoprecise Antibodies. Again, really on the leading edge or forefront of this artificial intelligence integration in the biotech space. Let me know if you're holding shares. Feel free to hit the like button if you're still watching. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. That's all for now. Thanks so much. We'll see you back here later.